Radio Live is made possible with support from Autumn Beck Blackledge, attorneys of divorce and family law, offering resolutions to complex family issues. Support also comes from Kevin Ryan, financial advisor at Merrill Lynch in downtown Pensacola, with advice for what matters most when you need it most. Details available by Googling Kevin Ryan Merrill Lynch. Accommodations for Radio Live Artists, provided by PensacolaBeach.com, an all-in-one website for all things Pensacola Beach. To review rates on hotels, book tours and activities, see upcoming events, and view the latest beach report, visit PensacolaBeach.com. From the heart of Florida's great Northwest, it's Radio. <laughs> Indeed it is. This is Pat Robert, hoping you'll stay with us for the next 90 minutes of music and conversation here aboard our stage studio located in the beautiful Museum of Commerce nestled in the historic Pensacola Village. And what a fantastic audience we have tonight. Give yourselves a big hand. Yeah. All right. We have a great show for you tonight. A little program note. Um, we were hoping to have Lily Lewis, who has been on the program before. She's such a sweetheart. We were hoping to have her tonight. Um, she is not very well right now. She's actually over in New Orleans in the hospital. So thoughts and prayers for her. Um, I think she's going to be okay, but um, it sort of came as a surprise. Um, fortunately... There happened to be someone here who could kind of fill in, and, and, and someone who's no stranger to you all now, because uh, as many of you know, Tanya Gallagher will be taking over this spot in January, uh, and so we've been, uh, you know, kind of grooming her for it this year, and this, this is just another trial by fire tonight by saying, hey, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> You're on the show. So we're, we're lucky to have her. Uh, she's... Uh, Good hometown girl, pride of Pensacola, and she's done great things and um, came back to make this her home again. We're pleased with that, and she has her friend uh, William Billy Howell with her tonight, uh, who is... <laughs> she is going to be the artistic director and the host. He's going to be the music director, and, and they're going to have a little band that's going to be regular on the show. So without any further ado, please welcome Tandy Gallagher. Well, thank you all so much. Uh, I told Pat, I said, they're going to get sick of me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so we put together this little set. Hopefully some songs that you know, some that you don't. Uh, this one's called The Weatherman. In a past life as a gambler A wandering soul couldn't win and I left my heart in places I knew I'd never see again. My soul lives south of Richmond, in the west the rest remains. Be it twenty or two thousand miles, to me it's all the same. Darling, I've been here before The warning signs We can't ignore and this can't go on anymore It's time to let you go I left home and all my family out to make it on my own. But you, you've always had a lover, and you never learned to be alone. And I'm not like those other voices, honey, I don't like the rain. 
You said that you were once the weatherman So tell me, is this gonna change? Darling, I am not a child We've grown apart With every man and it's been Time to let you go Thank you guys so much. So uh, just yesterday, my husband and I, we were, we were on the Oregon coast, driving the 101, when, uh, when we, when we uh, saw that, that Lily wasn't going to be able to make the show tonight, so I called that immediately. So, so I took a red-eye flight here this morning, and uh, <laughs> we were, it was already planned, so don't worry, I didn't cancel my vacation or anything. But, uh, but yeah, we've, I've been up since about 8 a.m. yesterday, so we'll see how this goes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song called uh, called Shadows, and I have to say that uh, give it up for William Howell here because I just threw a whole bunch of songs at him this afternoon, and he's awesome and and just takes it on like a champ. So thank you, Billy. <laughs> we'll wait till the end of the set, and then we can reassess. Yeah. <laughs> I feel up against the wall Pinned between the door and hall Not sure if I'm standing tall Or if it's just my shadow Is there over Lake Pontchartrain? train Long before I knew your name You lived not too far from me And now it's just a shadow When they lie there by your side Tell me, do you ever bat an eye? Holding the ceiling thoughts of you and I dance across all night. Now I'm scared of what I stand to lose. If this is all just a ruse, I was once in life, but now I'm just a bruise, dark like a shadow. Well, I'm gonna meet those wolves and strays that hunt me down. I'm gonna lick their face. I'm gonna learn all my demons by name. I'm not scared of the shadows. I'm gonna hold them in my hand, say a silent prayer. Then I'll take a stand. I'm gonna set them loose to disappear again out into the shadows. Well, I feel free most of the time. Till you start to cross my mind And then my head and heart Begin to fight back versus the shadow I don't mean no one, no harm I come before you all Unknown but history Can be a big old stone That cries the lot of shadow
Billy Howell right there. Well, I know just what you will say. There she goes again, trying to get her way. Well, you might be right. I do like to play deep in the shadows. And ain't it just like me to be? So in up unexpectedly, trying to drag you down here with me into these shadows. <laughs> well, thank you guys. So, uh, so a few years ago, I put out an album called Virginia, and. Uh, I'm going to play this one for Pat, because you're a Virginia man, so. <laughs> but the real story behind this song is that uh, there was a good friend of mine named Dave Shalander, and he passed away right after I moved to Vancouver, British Columbia. And Dave the Wave, he made music with all the best of them, with Bonnie Raitt and the Stones, and, and he was just an amazing keyboard player, and I had the great honor of getting to play with him a few shows. And um, after he died, I, I came back uh, the Christmas after he passed away, and I had his old guitar in my in my house, and so I, so I started writing this song, and it happened all about in about 20 minutes or so, and I always just think that Dave kind of whispered this one to me, so it's called Virginia. Virginia, my dear, my darling, well, he don't dote on me, but in an Orphic bar where he stole my heart, he's the finest man I ever did see. And Raleigh, we were lovers, and rich men. We were friends, but by the time we came down from that Blue Ridge town of Floyd, we were lovers again. We take it slow, we take it slow. Oh, oh no, Virginia, my friend. I have fallen again, Virginia, you've stolen my Great William and Mary He's an old soul of knowledge and wealth His words were few But I took them as true As if Jefferson spoke them himself No, this isn't the first time I've been to Virginia before I keep repeating my past in hopes it'll last. Well, this time will be different, I'm sure. But take it slow. But take it slow. Oh, oh no, Virginia, my friend, I have fallen again. Virginia, you've stolen my heart. Oh, Virginia, my friend, I have fallen again. Virginia has stolen my heart. Give it up one more time for William Howell over there, just taking all the changes in stride. <laughs> 
So I'm really excited for the, uh, for the folks coming up after me. Amy Spies is someone who, I have, uh, who I've heard about from, uh, for a long time from Pat, and I'm so excited to get to hear her play tonight. But we have just, uh, just one more of the set, so this one's called Copycat. Thank you guys so much. He's a formidable performer. He may have his roots in the blues, but he's inspired by music and song from all around the world, taking these sounds and weaving them into a performance of blues, rock, jazz, songs, and melodies that defy a label, all delivered with his signature gravelly voice. His inimitable style incorporates all five digits on each hand, dancing independently, but in unison plucking, picking, and strumming at such speed and precision that his fingers often seem to melt into a blur. A note to those just listening tonight, his technical virtuosity creates the impression there are multiple guitarists playing simultaneously, but it's just one man, one guitar. Picking up at the guitar at age, eight, age 15 was the strains of an instrumental version of the House of a Rising Sun seeping from a neighbor's garage that ignited the fire in his soul. He studied classical guitar for a period, but soon realized that his feeling was far more for improvisation than written music, using the music as a tool to express himself. Please welcome me, or please don't welcome me, please join me in welcoming Claude Bourbon. Thank you, good evening. Thank you. 
Did somebody make a fool out of you? Did somebody mistreat you? Well, I know that you're holding back. We are alone, no love. Did somebody make a fool out of you? Did somebody run away? Did somebody tear it all apart? I know you've been treated bad, but you don't have to look so sad. Did somebody make me fall out of you? It's hard to love someone again when somebody stole your whole apartment. So come on, let yourself go. You don't think about it anymore. I know there's still a whole lot of loving in your heart. I know there's still a whole lot of loving.
Sits all alone, playing his guitar at the back of a small cafe. No one seems to him, so he closes his eyes, just lets the music take him away. Singing songs of love, songs of broken heart, is one out his love. In his last pair of jeans But you keep going on When you're living on dreams You can feel it inside And the guitar don't lie Oh, the guitar don't lie There's a lady he knows, she often comes by. She's heavily into the blues. She requests the same song every night. She says it reminds her of someone she knew. The trace of her perfume floats across the road. Once they were close and share all their dreams, but now all they refuse is a physical thing. They grow slowly apart, and the guitar the guitar don't lie. No, the guitar don't. Some night gets cold, and it makes him aware. Time is slipping away. And if you look close in his dark curly hair, under the light, there's traces of gray. And he knows what it's all about. To fell down and out. He's been there before. He's seen it all, 
and you learn to survive with your back to the wall. It's a crazy old life. It's a crazy old life. And the guitar don't lie. Oh, the guitar, the guitar don't lie. This one is called How I Feel. This next one. I'll take the heat. I'll take the fall. I've got your back when darkness falls. When this old world starts closing in. I'm on your side. I'll be your friend. You picked me up when I was down. I sang so low, I 
nearly drowned. You made me whole. And I was half. You took this spell and made me laugh. This is how I feel. About you, baby. This is how I feel. About you now. You set me up and I'll play the part. Now and forever, take it to heart. Make this vow, swear to you. So rest your mind, my words are true. I take the hit, take the fall. I'm on your side when darkness falls. This is how I feel about you, baby. This is how I feel about you now. This is how I feel about you, baby. This is how I feel about you now. Send me up and I'll play the part. Now and forever, take it to heart. Thank you. Thank you, Claude. Claude Bourbon, and he will be back with us in the second half of the program. The program is Radio Live, coming to you live this evening from the Museum of Commerce in the beautiful Pensacola Historic Village. This next lady we've got coming over here right now, I have a special place in my heart for her, and I tell you that right now. Amy Spies is one of contemporary folk and Americana music's leading voices of the new generation. Praised by mentors Judy Collins, Tom Paxton, and Janice Ian, as well as songwriting community in Nashville, 
Her songs have been recorded by many notable artists. Over two decades of touring, she has played concerts all across the United States and Europe, and has graced stages from the Glastonbury Festival and the Cambridge Folk Festival in the UK to Rocky Mountain Folk Festival and Mountain Stage, many times on Mountain Stage. We're trying to have her as many times as Mountain Stage has, but I got a lot of catching up to do. She, <laughs> she began her career in the iconic folk venues of New York City, where she was discovered by Judy Collins and signed to her Wildflower Records label. Relocating to Nashville in 2009, she quickly became embraced by the songwriting community, playing regular shows at the Bluebird Cafe, as well as touring internationally. In 2020, her song, Me and the Ghost of Charlemagne, was named International Song of the Year by the Americana Music Association in the UK. Her 2021 release, There Used to Be Horses Here, received widespread critical acclaim from Rolling Stone and Billboard magazines, and performing songwriter gave it five out of five stars, naming it as the number four release of 2021. Her latest album, Tucson, landed on number one at the, on the Folk Festival radio charts in April of 2022 and was widely lauded as one of her finest works. This year, her 2013 recording, How to Sleep in a Stormy Boat, which was featured on NPR's All Things Considered, was named to the top 10 albums of the century. Please join me in welcoming our friend, Amy Spies. <laughs> to grow wild behind the white picket fence this seemed to go on for a mile there used to be horses here on the way up yellow springs road beautiful amber maids with the sun gleaming off of their coats and i wanted to see them See them in perfect formation one more time, one more time. There used to be horses here. My father knew the owner from church. They've torn down the old brick house. Now there's just a big hole in the earth. And I wanted to see them that day in October running fast up the hill to the sky. I wanted to see them in perfect formation one more time. to be horses here when dad had his house in the trees wherever they took them well I hope it's a place they run free cause I wanted to see them that day in October running fast up the hill to the sky I wanted to see them in perfect formation one more time see him so I could remember the faded blue of his eyes. Oh, I wanted to see him fly off to forever one more time, one more time. One more time.
Thank you so much. It's good to be back in Florida. Although it's cold. Not tomorrow. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm going back to cold Nashville tomorrow. Anyway, it's good to be on WWF as well. I love this station. Thank you. They told me at Mountain Stage that if you do that show five times, they give you a letter jacket. I did the show for the fifth time last year, and there was no letter jacket. So, Pat, I'm just letting you know. One more time, and I want a WUWF leather jacket. I did not do sports enough in high school because I did music, so I never got myself a letter jacket, so I want one from a radio station. <laughs> this is from my newest record, Tucson. It's a retelling of the Little Red Riding Hood story. I used to tour with J Judy Collins, and she would tell stories about the old days, and she told a story about Ravi Shankar, about how when he tuned his sitar, it was an orgasmic experience. <laughs> Starting to sound like a sea change. There we go. There's a wolf around back, and he's heading your way. Little red, little red, don't look into his eyes. He'll woo you with a lullaby under a disguise. Oh, little girl, throwing sticks and stones. You're raging at the world, but you're breaking your own bones. Little red, little red, still sucking on your thumb till it shakes and it bleeds and the skin goes numb. Little red, I can see your back's against the wall. You keep flailing your fists in the middle of it all. Oh, little girl, throwing sticks and stones. You're raging at the world, but you're breaking your own. Screaming at ghosts and punching at the stars. Oh, little girl, with your ancient wounds, the wolf's at the door, and he's howling at the moon. and stones at the mean old world don't you know you're not alone
go back to There Used to Be Horses Here for the one happy song on that record. It's actually a record that I, I find it very, um, I like to think of it as a sort of a gospel record, a different kind of gospel record. All the songs were written in between my son's first birthday and my father's passing. This is a song about my son. It's called One Year. Through an opening at the side Where the door slopes away from earth A little bird hops through the light The worm hangs from her beak And I sit on my screened in porch Write my way to this wakening day Watch the dance of mother and child, you in my arms asleep. Time slows, then speeds like a train. Sleep ebbs and rolls like a wave. One And so the mystery unfolds. We teach each other to survive. Against all odds, against the grain, from a bed of leaves and twine. Time slows, then speeds like a train. Sleep. Everything is changed. Right before you were born, grew a dark line like a stain. But since you were pulled from sea to air, I watched it. The morning gently rocks away. I feel the rising of your chest. So I leave the bird alone and sink into our nest. Time slows, then speeds like a train. Sleep ebbs and rolls like a wave. In one year of endless days, everything is changed. Everything is changed. Everything is changing. Thank you so much. <clears throat> He's five now. 
I thought I wasn't getting any sleep at that point when he was one. The dude gets me up at 5 o'clock every morning like it's a new day. He like runs into my room, Mommy, the sun came out. <laughs> it comes out every day, kid. <laughs> when, I, when he was one, I was like, isn't that beautiful? Isn't he beautiful? Isn't everything he does great? And now I'm like, go back to sleep. <laughs> so um, last year, he, he just started kindergarten, which is a whole, yeah, it's a whole new world. School driving lines. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? When they tell you he has to be there between 7.30 and 7.45, and the line starts at 6.30. Nobody warned me about these things. I might have rethought it. Oh, I'm just kidding, Huckleberry, when he listens to this later. Mommy, you just sent me to therapy. <laughs> so last year, uh, he was in his last year of daycare, and I witnessed something that I shall never forget, and I had to write a song about it. Um, what I want you to know about this song is just in daycare, they name classrooms from animals. So there were turtles, and there's pigs, and there's ducks, and there's chicks, and things like that. That's all you need to know. The other thing I want you to know about this song is that it's new. Um, I'm about to start working on my next record that should come out at least by summer 2024, and I've got most of the songs written. This one has to go on there although I'd like to have released it around Christmas because it is called The First United Methodist Daycare Christmas Show. <laughs> it was the 10th of December at quarter of nine. They all walked in quietly in straight little line. Patent leather shoes and spit combed hair. It was the Christmas pageant at the church daycare. The ducks on the left the owls on the right, teachers wore sweaters with battery lights. The gym was electric with excitement. Moms and dads and grandparents pointed phones at their kids. Holiday songs, jingle bell glee. It was the best dang show I'd ever seen. Men and plastic Jesus in fake snow at the First United Methodist Daycare Christmas show. Mary played with her dress with a bored blank stare, and Joseph cried for mom's snot running everywhere. So they sent in a sub, a shepherd in a shawl, but Joseph wouldn't leave, so it was a menage a trois. Ha! Day songs, jingle bell glee. It was the best dang show I'd ever seen. Three wise men and plastic Jesus in fake snow at the First United Methodist Daycare Christmas show. Now the star on the riser in glittering gold, he stood behind the scenes stealing the show. There were goats and one boy peed his pants. When Santa came out, they all jumped and danced. And the sign language to Silent Night, well, I'm pretty sure it wasn't even close to right. But my kid knew the words, well, most of them. But he sang with heart next to his best friend. And the standing ovation was well deserved at the end. Holiday songs, jingle bell glee. Yeah, it was the best dang show I'd ever seen. Three wise men and plastic Jesus in fake snow at the First United Methodist Daycare Christmas Show. At the First United Methodist Daycare Christmas Show. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Amy. Amy Spies, and she's going to be back with us, too, in the second half of the program, so hang in there. All right, and the program is Radio Live, coming to you live this evening from the Museum of Commerce in the historic Pensacola Village, broadcast on WUWF 88.1 FM. Um, you may be listening online. That's another way you can listen to this program. You can go to WUWF.org and listen to our live stream uh, at your convenience. So, hey, we're halfway through the show. Is this awesome or what? <laughs> lots more to come, lots of good stuff. And we're going to continue right now with Tanya Gallagher and her side man, Billy Howe. <laughs> So, uh, so this next song is called Strangers, and I, I'm one of those songwriters who I send I send songs to, to a few people, pretty regularly. I write a lot, so they get a lot of Billy shaking his head, like yeah. <laughs> so a lot of my friendships are just me sending songs to people, and sometimes not ever receiving responses back, <laughs> which makes you wonder. Um, <laughs> Billy says, because you get them at 3 a.m., but hey, when inspiration strikes, you just got to go for it. <laughs> so anyhow, this, uh, this is what this song's about. It's called Strangers. Well, if you lose me to sleep, please try again tomorrow. I've been under the moon. Now I'm pretty tired. If you need to go dark, Please quietly borrow a bag or steal an ounce of my sorrow. I've had many thoughts run over with love that I did not give back to the ones who offered me all of their hearts. Cause I'd given mine away in the dark to a stranger that I hardly see. I hardly know I can hardly relate to Except for in song In song well, If this the record repeats In the needle is skipping I'm losing my groove and I'm stuck in a place this has happened before. I fall back on a state where it's hard to decide what's real and what's fake. Now when decade is gone and we are still tired like a pair of tin cans pulled tight on a wire and we ache in the dark and just in the day and I tell all my thoughts to a stranger that I hardly see And I hardly know But I can hardly relate to Except for in song In song
Well, thank you so much. So uh, this weekend is a really great weekend in Pensacola. Have you guys noticed all the great things we have going on around here? Yeah. Got the uh, Greek Festival and the Arts Festival, which I know Dale and his crew will be, be leading all the music there, and Billy and myself will be playing on the main stage from 3 to 5 on Sunday. So if you guys uh, <laughs> want to come hang out, then uh, yeah, it's also the Blue Angels, and, and I know there's a Night Moves Festival going on. It's a great weekend in Pensacola, guys. So can't say that you're bored. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully uh, you guys will check out some of the great acts that are playing. I know the Lubin brothers are playing tomorrow. They've been on Radio Live and some other really great people. So hopefully you'll make your way, move your way down to Seville Square, check out that main stage, see all the hard work that uh, Dale and Pat and his crew are putting on over there. This is a song called Imaginary. I'm finding solace in our back and forth. It's melancholy, bored our valley is so much more. I'm not a saint, not constrained, I'm not sedentary. But it's time we draw the line. I'm just imaginary. I'm that lone island in your regency. I'm a nightcap gin, or a rye whiskey. I'm that confidence boost, baby, that you need again and again and again. I won't lie, it's a price to talk to you, but you will see I'm always leaving. I'm just passing through me. Being here, you being there. Well, honey, it's best that way. Cause I'm a lever and not a lover. So I, I never stay. I'm mad. Smile your knee when you're feeling down. I'm a quick phone call. When you're leaving town and she'll be broken hearted if she ever finds out. So I'm about to uh, nerd out on you for a little bit, because uh, that's what I do. Mm. And <laughs> so I, I recently learned um, a part of speech called contronyms. I don't know where I was in English class when they taught us this, but uh, 
But a contronym is a word that contradicts itself. It's a, a word with two meanings. So, for instance, to bolt can be to fasten, or it can mean to flee. Um, to buckle can mean to, to put together, or it could also mean to, to fall within itself. So it's, it's a word that contradicts itself. And I, I had a friend of mine, a colleague of mine at work, who we were driving from Bay County, and somehow this came up in our conversations because we're both pretty nerdy. And, uh, <laughs> and so she introduced me to this word, and I wrote it down on my notepad like I always do, and then I went home and I thought, how many contronyms can I put into one song? So, uh, of course, because that's what all of you guys thought too, right? Um, so anyhow, this is my, uh, my song called Contronyms, and I don't think I've ever played this before. Um, so I guess you guys won't know if I screw it up, but hey. <laughs> we'll give it a try. <laughs> sure that I'm not sure of anything anymore. I weathered the storm, but it weathered me. I got a lot of good left inside, but some nights it's so hard to pry out anything that anyone would ever call quality. You can run fast, hold fast, fast for a week or two but it still won't break these walls built up in me if i were easy it'd be so easy oh now baby rest at ease because everyone knows good love don't come free well i've been bound but not tied down i'm bound for whatever comes around Surprise of my lover have come around to new thoughts. Don't ask me why, and I'll tell no lies. If charged by the lie, then I'd be fine. You can bill it to me later, take a few bills to cover the cost. You can hold fast, run fast, fast for a week or two. But it still won't break these walls built up in me. If I were easy, it'd be too easy. Oh, now, baby, rest at ease. Because everyone knows good and love don't come. so much. Tanya Gallagher and Billy Howe. And they'll be back in just a couple months, actually. And then be here a lot. Looking forward to that. Support for Radio Live is made possible by the Radio Live 25, those dedicated individuals who really brought this show back from the dead several years ago and have kept it alive since and kept it and allowed it to grow a great deal. So we're so grateful for our Radio Lab 25. You know who they are. They've got their lanyards on. I, I'm all about private space, so you don't necessarily have to throw yourself and hug them. But, you know, um, if they seem open to that, please do that if you have a chance because uh, they're certainly well worth the attention. All right. Joining us once again. Our friend, our new friend, his first time on Radio Live. We're so happy to have him here with us tonight, Claude Bourbon. Thank you.
Snowfalls sur la prairie. Snowfalls sur la prairie. Les moutons continuent de paître. Snowfalls sur la prairie. Les laissants fous tirent sur le tapis. Peu dormir toute l'après-midi. Snowfalls sur la prairie. Les moutons continuent de paître. Bobby sleep, Bobby mange, Bobby mourra. Tout seul dans la nuit, un coup de fusil retentit. Snowfalls sur la prairie. Les moutons continuent de paître. Snowfalls sur la prairie. Les moutons continuent de paître. Des chaises attendent derrière la porte pour des spaghettis. À faire dans les faits la cour, à en faisant du bruit. Snowfalls sur la prairie. Les moutons continuent de paître. Snowfalls. Pas d'y par il est tard, pas d'y pour. Tout seul dans la nuit, un coup de fusil retentit. Snowfall sur la prairie. Les moutons continuent de paître. Snowfall sur la prairie. Les moutons continuent de paître. Snowfalls sur la prairie. Snowfalls sur la prairie.
Aïe Pam 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 Sitting on a cliff top I watch the world go by Angel The seagulls are sailing in the sky. Small boat racing in the bay, sail filled with the breeze. I blew across the open moors. We sold through the trees. We sold through the trees. Don't know where you're going, but I know I'm gonna stay here. Had enough of traveling. Gonna sit right here and play here. Gonna sit right here. Watch the clouds blowing by till they're out of sight. At the setting of the sun, day turns into night. Day turns into night. Day turns. Day turns, day turns into night. I, I don't know where you're going, but I know I'm gonna stay. Trying 
traveling Gonna sit right here and play Gonna sit right here Gonna sit right here and play Gonna sit right here Thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Claude. Thank you. Claude Bourbon. All right. Well, just want to remind you, if you're listening right now, at home, in your car, wherever you're listening, this is Radio Live. We do this the first... Yes, it is. We do this the first Thursday of every month right here in the Museum of Commerce in downtown Pensacola. And uh, you can be a part of the live audience. All you've got to do is go to wuwf.org tomorrow morning and get your tickets for the December show. And they, they go fast, so uh, don't delay and make sure you do that. All right. Once again, we have uh, Amy Spies with us. She has changed instruments. And so we are delighted to have her take us out tonight. Amy? I'd stumble down Hudson from the meatpacking district toward the studio flat that I shared with a friend. My bed against the window with bars to the streets, impatiently wanting my life to begin. Surrounded by photos, my first love from college. One night I got high and took someone else home. I broke an engagement too poor for a ring. I was 23 thinking I'd die alone. Now to the apartment in the East Village, 11th and 1st, where cabs idled in line. Drug dealers owned all the corners at night. I could barely afford it, but it was all mine. That was my life in my 20s and 30s. I walked through Manhattan and never got tired. Used books on the streets in bins for a dollar. Speakeasies with sawdust and dogs by the fire. In New York City Now a few years later I was living in Brooklyn Married, divorced I'd moved out on my own To a basement apartment That faced the cathedral A narrow backyard Made of round paving stones Where I planted a garden Roses and thyme, spent mornings in prayer with coffee and clouds. Wrote everything down in a flurry of heartbreak, sang all of my sadness to crowds in New York City.
Now I'm far from the city and far from the village. My favorite cafe's been turned into a chain where I'd sit in the corner and write out my verses, stretching my coffee and watching the rain. But now I know what age does to memory. It softens the edges till everything's blurred. It fills in the gaps of regret and romance. Am I really that many years from that girl? Now there's lines on my face and my long hair is gray. But I look at the moment from decades ago. There's something about her. I may have lost, but there's still so much I want to know in New York City. In New York City. Thank you so much. That one spilled out late one night when I was looking through photo albums of my time. I lived in New York City right after college for 20 years. I started my life as an actress. I don't know if I've told you this story. I went to, I went to New York City to, um, after college to go to a, a conservatory called the National Shakespeare Conservatory to learn classical acting. It was a beautiful time in New York. It was the early 90s. I could afford an apartment in the East Village. It was $5.75 a month for a, for a studio the size of a closet, which is probably $3,500 a month now. And I just, you know, it was a beautiful time to be tw in my 20s and 30s wandering around. I, I was an actor, and I did some really cool things. There was um, one summer I was a part of a wonderful... Um, production, you know, of Shakespeare in the Park in New York City. You've heard of that? Yeah. I played Juliet in Shakespeare in the parking lot. <laughs> it was an August production company. We, we'd set up on Delancey Street in a municipal parking lot down on the lower, lower east side. We'd get people there by having uh, signs all around the neighborhood that said free beer and Shakespeare. <laughs> the New York Times had come one night <clears throat> to do a review of the show, and I was on my knees in my diaphanous na nightgown doing my death monologue for Juliet as garbage trucks were beeping around the perimeter of our stage. And right in the middle of my greatest moment of acting that's ever been seen before by anyone in a parking lot, a drag queen on rollerblades sped through the scene, stopped at my feet, and went, mm, 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 you go, girl. <laughs> It's about the time when I thought, maybe it's time to be a folk singer. <laughs> so that song is called In New York City, and it's going to be the centerpiece to the next record that I'm going to start working on at the beginning of 2024. I'm in the process of choosing the songs that will go on it, but um, I think I have the title. I think it'll be called The Days of Letting Go, which is the name of a song on there. It's a spoken word song, actually. This is a song I wrote for my son when I was pregnant with him, so it's a sort of lullaby, and I sang it to him so much that when he was first born, I sang it to him, and he picked his head up. And I wanted to think that he had heard me. He might have burped. <laughs> Every day I make my bed Every day I make my bed Every day I make my bed So I can keep both feet on the ground Every day I say that prayer Every day I say that prayer Every day I say that prayer So I can keep both feet 
on the ground. Once I flew above the stars, calling out your name so that you know how to find me when you came. Every day I'll sing to you. Every day I'll sing to you. Every day I'll sing to you. So I can keep both feet. So I can keep both feet. So I can keep both feet on the ground. Thank you so much. What a pleasure to be back here. What an honor it is to be asked to come back year after year. And thank you so much to all the people who come out, the live audience. You guys are amazing. I see familiar faces. I see people singing along to songs. And it just, it, you know, it makes me want to cry. But I have to keep my voice together because this is live radio. So I was in Aachen, Germany the year before I decided to have a child. I had my baby, Huck, when I was 50. So it was a kind of a combination of faith and science, if you know what I mean. So it had to, we had to plan this. And uh, so I was going on this tour in, in Europe. It was the last tour that I was to do before we would start IVF. And I wasn't sure what that meant. Would that be the end of me touring? Would that be, would I not want to? Would I not be able to? I had no, I've always made a living being away from home, and now I wanted to be home. I had this family. So there I was in Aachen, Germany, playing this show, and as, as happens when you're playing in a different town, people come to you and tell you what their town is known for and all the things that you should go see. And in Aachen, Germany, I was told that Charlemagne was born and died there, and his bones were interred in the cathedral below the cathedral, and that I really must spend time there. And I didn't have time because the next day I was driving to Switzerland for a show. But that night I was staying in this attic apartment and the, the windows faced the cathedral tower where the bells rang every hour on the hour. So I got no sleep. <laughs> so I used that time to Google Charlemagne because I don't remember much about Charlemagne except his name. I mean, do we? We learn about that in like European history in junior high school or high school and then unless we go on to study you know, history, world history in college and become, you know, very erudite. Um, like me, you just become a musician and you never think about Charlemagne again. <clears throat> so I wrote this song as a sort of farewell to my career. And then it won International Song of the Year and I realized, drat! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a huge honor. This is me and the ghost of Charlemagne and thank you so much for listening. On the western edge of Germany, where the emperor lived and died, the tower bells cut through the quiet of the early evening sky. They say his body's buried here. I could see the bones, but I've had enough of castles. They're just cold and made of stone. And I'm out here on my own, trying to keep this thing on track. Every day I quit this job, by night I take it back. And I've got a few more minutes 
in this tiny room off stage before it's me and the ghost of Charlemagne. And I'll sneak out through the back after the after party starts. I'll be too tired after two sets to be safe near any bar and all these surface conversations in a language not my own reminds me how far away I am from any home. Although tonight out there I felt close to the flame. By morning I'll be hauling luggage through the rain. Though it's rental cars and chain motels, cafes with clever names, some nights it's me and the ghost of Charlemagne. We all want to leave behind a thing that says that we were here before we die. Something more than just a castle in the air. So we dare. I know that moment when the dreamer meets the dream and it's a lie. After years of climbing up, I see it's just the same old sky and the clouds that kings have pondered. Yeah, they look a lot like mine. We dream because we know that we're running out of time. And we're carpenters hammering at nails building arcs, chasing after whales, tilting at windmills and hunting a grail. But these little rhymes and relics, may they live beyond my name, because in the end they're all that will remain. For me and the ghost, Charlemagne. Thank you again so much. Amy Spees. Hey, just a reminder, everyone who's here tonight, all of these artists have their great merchandise at the merchandise table. Be sure to check it out on your way out this evening. And thank you for coming this evening. Uh, it's been another fantastic show. You have been a fantastic audience. Radio Live is a production of WUWF Public Media at the University of West Florida. Our technical director and broadcast mix master, well, actually, our technical director is Dale Regal. Our broadcast mix master tonight is Joe Vincenza. Our house sound is engineered by Tom Skinner. Master control this evening is being masterfully controlled by John McDonnell. Our videographers are Teresa Clark, Chuck Dunlap, and Hannah Roos. Our video director is Quentin Williams. Our house manager is Trish Allison. Our photographers and production assistants are Jenny McKeon and Anthony Potts. Our stage manager is everybody's favorite Jewish mother, most everybody's favorite Jewish mother, that is, Enid Siskin. <laughs> As you leave tonight, Remember to keep your eyes on the road, your heart on the coast, and your connection to public radio. Good night, everyone. See you next month. Be safe.
Radio Live is made possible with support from Autumn Beck Blackledge, attorneys of divorce and family law, offering resolutions to complex family issues. Support also comes from Kevin Ryan, financial advisor at Merrill Lynch in downtown Pensacola, with advice for what matters most when you need it most. Details available by Googling Kevin Ryan Merrill Lynch. Accommodations for Radio Live artists provided by PensacolaBeach.com, an all-in-one website for all things Pensacola Beach. To review rates on hotels, book tours and activities, see upcoming events, and view the latest beach report, visit PensacolaBeach.com.